Movies often simplify logic and science for the average person, but when they just get facts all out wrong, well it just crocks my socks if you know what I'm saying. The 2007 DreamWorks movie, B-Movie, starring Jerry Seinfeld as Barry B. Benson, begins with the following statement. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. What the heck, bee movie? You're just filled with misinformation about my beloved bees. Male bees don't sting, and as a matter of fact, male bees don't do anything. It's the female bees that do all the work. Well, you know what they say, a woman's work never ends. <laughs> The French entomologist Antoine Magnon, the mathematician Andre Saint Lag, concluded that due to air resistance and its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground, the bee's flight was impossible. They just assumed that nature was more powerful than physics. What the heck, guys? What's going on? 1934 was the year when astronomer Carl Sagan was born, and when Shirley Temple had her big break in the movie Stand Up and Cheer. It was such a good year. They based many of their assumptions and calculations off of aircraft wings and this is where they went wrong. This was enough to put the thought into non-technical minds that bumblebees were like those counterculture kids who didn't conform to the norms of physics. February 24th, 1984. British zoologist Charles Ellington filmed insects at about 5,000 frames per second. I crunched the numbers and calculated that this is about 200 times slower than the average movie and TV show. The filming was done specifically to gain a better understanding of the motion of their wings and bodies, and what he found will shock you. They flap their wings. That's... That, that's pretty much it. I can show you all these calculations, but it's... They, they flap. The end.